Okay, so here's the thing. You find a golf club, it works magic. You cannot do any wrong with it. But there's a huge stigma attached to that golf club. Would you or wouldn't you put it in your golf bag? I've said on a number of occasions, on a number of videos that we've done of late, that uh, often it seems to me that average golfers might be choosing clubs that uh, they like the look of, uh, they see other players using, but are they best suited for them in terms of capability? And this is a prime example of a golf club where I reckon most of you will go absolutely nowhere near. And when I say most of you, I have never tried one of these things in my life. And no matter how well it does, I already know that it won't go in my golf bag. What a bad attitude that is. Right, the club in question is still in the wrapper. It's a proper unboxing. I have never, I can promise you, ever tried one of these golf clubs in my life. I haven't even unwrapped this, as you've seen. I bought this off uh, Amazon, and that was largely due to the fact that I couldn't find anybody who's got one either. But my question is, if I can ever get the wrapper off, is would it work for a number of golfers who perhaps struggle with a certain element of the game? I'm sure some of you are getting close to what I've got in hand. And if I ever get that wrapper off, I'll share it with you. It is the Ram FX, no other, chipper. It was $24.99 on Amazon. And I want to know, we're going to do a great test today. Now, don't switch off because I already know you're all switching off. You've already disappeared. I don't want to see how that club performs. Well, I do. And we're going to. We're going to put a number of different situations up. I have got any club in the bag that I want in terms of chipping up against it. I'm going to see which one performs best. My chub club of choice or the Ram FX chipper. I think it's time to hit some golf balls. Right, well, I think we should get straight into this because uh, I've no idea what you're supposed to do with these clubs. I've never tried one in my life, like I said. And you're going to see my very first shot with one, or two shots. Um, so just off the fringe, we'll talk about what this club can and possibly might do for some average golfers. But let me just give it a bit of a go. I'm going to play it as I would a sort of putt. Um, and I'm assuming that's the idea. That's not, that's not too bad. That even seems to spin. Right, I'll be more than happy with that. Very first go. So same putting style stance. And that could be even closer. It's almost identical. Do you know what? That's not a bad start. I'd be more than happy with them with a chipper. But what can I do with a wedge? We're going to find out. Mix it up a bit. Talk about the chipper and who it might suit. And are we ignoring out of our own golf snobbery again, a possible tool that might help a lot of average golfers. Right, so the next position we're going to go from is, uh, hopefully you can, uh, well you can certainly just about make me out back there, it's from the roof. And uh, we've got a sort of maybe 10, 15 yard carry. Again, I'm going to adopt this kind of putting stance and see how it, oh, hello. That could go in, that could go in. That could go in. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right. Okay, so pretty good out the rough. And uh, so all I'm doing, and I'll never do that again. No, I didn't. I fluffed it. And that's because I, I was about to say what I've been doing is keeping my wrist nice and stiff and just adopting that putting stroke. And I didn't on that last one. I broke them. So again, concentrate on that. And I would certainly take two out of three of those. Right, we've just got a bit of a break. It's, uh, I've got a few games coming through. It's a gorgeous afternoon here at Conway, and obviously the course is very busy, so I've just had to pull off a green. And it gives us time to have a look at the technology that is packed into the Ram FX chipper. I don't know a great deal about it. It's a regular flex shaft. I don't even know what length the shaft it is. And I've no idea what loft we have on this. So there's the technical information for you right there. The point is this. It's not about... Uh, the tech that's packed into this is it it's about the simplicity of it it's a complete opposite of that it's the fact that it's a club that is effectively a putter with a lot of loft on it i would suggest it's something maybe in the region of sort of 45 degrees something like that um relative to a pitching wedge uh, 45 46 degrees and 
the issue that I'm going to have with it, I've tried it in a few different positions so far. They've been out of a bit of rough, which is fine. They've been um, from just off the fringe again, which is fine. They've all had nothing in front of them. They're very much a flat running, and uh, I would imagine that'll get uh, a lot more difficult when we perhaps have to pop this over a bunker, and we'll find that out. But in terms of what it is, it's a very straightforward, simplistic piece of kit. But how many of you would, in fact, game this? In fact, how many of you have actually tried one of these? So comments down below. What are your thoughts on the idea of having a chipper in your golf bag? Now, unfortunately, I had to just skip off the green there because I had a game behind me. It's a very busy day down here, as you can imagine, with these conditions. But anyway, I've tried to get back to a similar position. Uh, but my yellow balls have been moved. So that's not a bad effort. It's kind of where I would want to land it. That's a decent chip. My chipping's not great, so from this position, that would be something that I'd be really pleased with in terms of a shot. Again, that's not too bad either. Released out. In fact, it's very good. Uh, last one. And at the moment, fairly happy with those. Can I make it three? Yeah, that's good as well. So... In that instance, I mean, none of them made it as close as quite that yellow one did, and uh, I hit one duff with the, uh, with the chipper, but essentially they're three decent chips for me and where I'd expect them to be. Uh, but was there a huge difference? Which it was a surprise, I think, is the issue, between how easy the chipper came out of the rough, and the answer to that is, yes, I flipping was. the flag it's gone a little bit by to be fair Let's see if we can finish off with one more oh it's pushed it out it's got it out that's come off that bank and you know what they're not too bad at all and I'd be more than happy with those like I said in terms of my chipping capabilities the question is what would happen to the chipper and we are 51 yards out I've been told and I wonder now so the question is a lot of versatility have just played a 50 degree wedge and could have done a number of different things with it in terms of ball flight. I have no idea what I can do in terms of with a chipper. So we're still sticking to that straightforward putting style stroke. But the question is, is 51 yards too far for a chipper? And could we still use this? And not like that, because that was a little bit fat. So, do you know what? Picked that up quite cleanly. It's running along there. That's not done a bad job at all. The interesting thing is with the chipper, what amazes me is that on virtually every occasion, I better not speak too soon, is that you would at least get the ball on the line that you intend. And again, it's just got that one a little bit fat, but it's still rolling out there. It's made front of the green. It's not ideal. The one thing that's difficult from this distance is not to grab a bit of the green, uh, a bit of the turf rather, so again, just that little bit more. Can I adapt to it at all? Not really, just made front edge again. The thing is, the added bonus that the chipper gives you, like I said, is the fact that each of those balls very much was easy enough to set off on target and again did a job because the one thing that you're not doing, and I think it's who it appeals to, joking aside, is that how many of you in that position with a thin bladed style wedge in your hand have got the likely to duff one straight into the ground and maybe shift it two foot in front of you. I think it eliminates a lot of the risk that's attached to a chip and although, like I said, not as good for me in terms of performance as the 50 degree wedge it's certainly not got me in any trouble and i'd be more than happy with those three results in many respects Now again, not the uh, three greatest chips at the, uh, in the world, but the 
final one again and i'd be more than happy but this is the biggest issue that you're going to have in the fact that when i say biggest issue you're going to have to carry a wedge is my guess we'll find out very quickly but can every time i've hit this ball so far with a chipper i can't get any ball flight off it and get a chip and run but i can't get anything that's going to clear this bunker or can i we're going to find out so there's three 56 wedge out of interest is what i just played let's get the three yellow balls out I had decent enough lies there to be fair so let's give something half decent to the chipper uh, they look okay right so i'm gonna <laughs> i'm gonna choke down on a chipper yeah i actually said that so i'm gonna play this one a bit different and i'm gonna play it a bit more like not a putting stroke i'm gonna play more of a chip <laughs> almost almost it got there, but it certainly got more height adopting that different type of action. And I got it again. I can't get it massively high, but you know what? That's not too bad. Let's see if we can do one more. And that's not bad, is it? Get up. And there lies the difficulty. It's kind of, it's a club that will definitely help you on the flat, but in these kind of situations, you're going to have to, or maybe you're just going to have to learn ways in which to play with it. I don't know, because I can't quite master that bit yet in terms of getting much in terms of elevation on the ball. And in this instance, I'd have been a little bit stuck without a different type of wedge in the back. I've just actually found that I just tried a few chips around the green and I've actually found that by removing that sort of putting style way of playing it it becomes a lot more well a lot easier to clip the ball off the top and um, like I said a danger of with that big uh, you tried it with long putts yourself is where you just engage with a bit of the uh, ground and uh, that's what's happened with the putting style over longer distances certainly is okay in terms of across the flat but just that chip there and then just trying a few in and around this green, it's a lot easier. Just getting a little bit wristy with it. And uh, yeah, I think the more I work with this, it could be a tool that would go in the bag, but it won't. Right, we're losing light here at Conway Golf Club. And I think I've done more than enough with a chipper. And uh, I think it's the best review of a chip you'll see on YouTube. In fact, it's probably the only review you'll see on YouTube. Do you know what, I bought this as a bit of a, a, bit of a gimmick uh, and I wanted to do the video because I've been trying to look at things, like I said, make life easier for average golfers. And uh, that was the idea behind it. And I think, do you know what, to a large degree, uh, as joking apart, I think it would play a great role in many golfers' bags. I honestly do. Uh, I've played with more than enough golfers which struggle with chipping. Like I said, it ain't my best part of my game. And I think that uh, if you played a few rounds with that, and I think if you got used to it in terms of how it comes off the face, what you can do in terms of loft and how you can perhaps flight it, I think it's a real versatile club to have in the bag. And it boils down to the fact that we, there's so much stigma attached that people will really struggle to put it in the bag. And I know the deluge of comments will be about improving your chipping, but I also know that it can be a real killer for a lot of people. And if you've developed the yips or anything with your chipping, then maybe again, this might help uh, some golfers out. But all I would say is do not dismiss it. Don't ignore the possibilities of what a chipper can do for you. But I ain't putting it in the bag. Never. <laughs>